Well, there's been a lot of rumbling about an upcoming recession. And many of these analysts are saying that this next recession is going to be unlike anyone ever seen before in this country. And letting people know to have plans, figure out what you're going to do during this very rough time that's going to happen in America. So this came out in Forbes magazine, May 24th, 2019. The next recession will come. The time to prepare is now. The next recession will happen, resulting in job income and wealth losses for many working families, exacerbating the ongoing retirement crisis. Congress should prepare for it now while the economy is still doing well. Importantly, Congress can do more to help struggling families automatically get more income when the economy weakens and jobs disappears. Incomes fall and wealth drops. Key changes to social programs should make it a lot easier for people to access those benefits and to get higher benefits than is currently the case. The last recession from 2007 to 2009, and do you know many people never bounce back from that? There are many people in this country that never was able to bounce back after that recession hit. And if you remember, it started when Bush was in office and was uncharacteristically bad, but families also suffered a lot of financial hardship during the prior ones. Over the past 30 years, workers rather than businesses have increasingly felt the brunt of recessions. The length of unemployment has gone up over time as companies prioritize short-term increases in profitability to keep shareholders happy. Businesses have gained more power in recent decades, for instance, because unions have declined and because the social safety net has become frayed. This makes it easier for companies to squeeze out extra work without offering a lot of extra pay in a recession and at the early stages of an economic recovery. Firms can hold off hiring new workers while increasing their profits again, which boost stock prices at the expense of families' economic security. Families do not have to suffer financially while waiting for businesses to hire again and pay decent wages if Congress enact policies that automatically boost worker incomes when the economy falters. With the extra incomes, families will struggle less and the economy will decline less than it otherwise would and economic growth and job increases will come back again more quickly. Congress ain't going to do that. If you didn't see Congress, I have never seen Congress do that during any recession give people more money during the recession. I've never seen that happen. I think that sounds like a lot of wishful thinking there. Uh, the key point is that these policies need to automatically boost income when the economy sours. Such policies need to get money quickly into people's pockets result in large enough increases in spending and reduction in taxes, target those who will need more income and in when the recession is over. I don't believe that's going to happen, y'all. I never seen this government be quite that giving, okay? And if they are, then you might have to tell me because I don't see it. Okay, uh, policies are known as automatic stabilizers. A number of key social programs, such as unemployment insurance, food stamps, and Medicaid, 
already act as automatic stabilizers, but they do too little of it. Too few people qualify for these benefits and the benefit amount tend to be too low to help workers enough in a recession. Congress need to increase access and raise benefit amounts. A number of experts recently presented several proposals. These proposals range from the federal government helping states pay for more health care through Medicaid to automatically increasing access to SNAP and higher SNAP benefits in a recession. The goal of the author of these proposals is to push policymakers to consider improving federal spending programs now while the economy is still doing well. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, look, when the recession happened on Bush's watch, I didn't see this federal, uh, federal government do anything but bail out the banks and bail out <laughs> rich people. I didn't see them do anything else. If they did something else, please let me know. The only one that really benefited from that were these big corporations and industries and banking. And I didn't see the small guy benefit from that. So, you know, the person that wrote this, I think they're dreaming. You're not going to see Congress pass nothing to help the people. <laughs> That's not what they do, not the Congress in this country. Especially during a recession. No, they ain't going to do that. Okay. So it wasn't until December 1st, 2008, for economists to officially decide that the Great Recession had started by the end of 2007. But many of us had already knew that. We knew we were in a recession before they announced it. 11 months earlier, it takes time before politicians will enact a much needed economic stimulus. And then it makes more time before the money flows into people's pockets and gets uh, spent helping out an economy. Second, the federal uh, economic stimulus may not be large enough. Yeah, um, economic problems alone are not the only deterrent uh, to determinant of the size of an economic stimulus, but also political considerations. Third, an economic stimulus could be poorly targeted to help the most vulnerable families. President George W. Bush advertised his 2001 tax cuts as an economic stimulus. However, the tax cuts were the exact opposite of an effective economic stimulus. Much of the tax cuts benefited the highest income earners and would only happen in years well after 2001, when the economy was presumably out of the woods. The tax cut thus did not do enough to help struggling workers in 2001. Fourth, it's hard to take back spending increases once the recession is over and it's time to shrink the deficits that inevitably occurred amid the recession. So, um, all of this doesn't mean that there isn't room for Congress to pass more legislation to boost the economy in a recession. Even the best and largest automatic stabilizers will not be enough to help in a severe downturn. You know, and that's what some of them are saying will happen. But I don't know. Congress preparing in advance. I ain't going to hold my breath on that. Christian Whaler, the one that wrote this. I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath. You know, look at who we got in charge. We, we got a man that filed bankruptcy five times and failed in all of his businesses. And you expect him to prepare us for a recession? <laughs> yeah, right. 
But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And you know what? For Black Americans, life is a recession, an ongoing recession. So we ain't going to sweat this one, just like we didn't sweat all the other ones. Peace, family.